Hello, hello, welcome to a tiny little art haul from Poundland. So first out of the trap, I've opened everything by the way because I wanted to sort of test run them. Washi tapes. They had quite a selection of like glittery and matte ones, but I was looking for something a little bit a little bit unique. So there's these. They're very pretty, aren't they? In really spring colours. You've got all of these uh, peppermint greens, powdery pinks, fresh leaves, garden insects, unless they're just a leftover from the summer. But uh, yeah, not particularly Christmassy, but uh, that doesn't that doesn't bother me the spilling off my hand. Anyway, so they're first. Next is some paper, some craft card. And again, I just need to remind you that this is all pounds. So craft card, 100 sheets, it's 160 grams and it, they're 10 by 15 centimetres. Now, I would, I would take them to task a little bit. That's more like paper. That's, it's quite, it's, it's quite sheer, it's quite light, it's quite flimsy. I've used some pencil on this. It's taken pencil really nicely, but I, I think card would be overstating it. It's nice-ish paper. It will not go to waste. It will be used. It will be put to good use over time. But um, and I'll use it in my art journal and for small bits and pieces around the house. But no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use this as card. However, the next <clears throat> next thing is this crafter's paper or craft paper it's brown card basically it's a 10 pack that's 12.5 by 17.5 centimeters this is nice this is what i would call sort of card it's not particularly stiff it's not you know it's not going to set the world on fire but it's got more um more strength to it it's not flimsy <clears throat> i test ran i'll talk about that in a second the card is the envelope for the card that's nice that looks quite nice i i'm going to use these for cards amongst family net members i don't know if you're selling cards if you're doing these commercially online if these would really pass muster um i don't know what they would look like with a lot of glue and stuff on them, whether they would stand up to it, whether it would buckle. But anyway, what I've test ran on here and on here are my newest purchase that I'm most, most, most delighted with. Faber-Castell Polychromos um, set of 12. So this is a birthday present to myself. Let me see. Yes, I've already started to make inroads on it. So, um... They worked really nicely on this. And the other thing that works really well with it is this. It's the Faber-Castell eraser pencil. I think it's got some sort of a, hang on, everything's falling around. Yeah, it's the Perfection eraser pencil. And even on this card, it's doing a cracking job lifting that pencil. I could do this all day, can you tell? I'm loving using the, the Polychromos. Um, but yeah, there, there is um, definitely, you have to spend time, you need a light hand, it's a whole different set of skills and techniques. And I think, I think if you do get into them and coloured pencils, wait a second, I want to see this. Uh, yeah, it can, it can get a bit obsessive. And expensive. They're not as expensive as the Lightfast by Karen Dash, three pounds something a pencil. These are about one pound 46 each. This was 42 something, I think. But anyway, love them. Um, I very much enjoy YouTube videos about people doing tutorials. It's very soothing. So yeah, so that's my little art haul today from the expensive to the expensive but still going to bring you hours of joy so anyway thank you for joining me <clears throat> thanks for dropping by come back and see me again soon and uh, go out and get yourself some cards and get posting for christmas <laughs> bye bye